Today we'll be looking at this Celoso 1020. The amp is probably from 67. It will certainly not be younger than 69 because in 1969 John Geloso went out of business. Now we're taking the cover off. As always with uh, EL84s, you can see the burn marks on the case. Nice little tube chart which never wears out. And all of the tubes are uh, original Philips Mini Watt. Then afterwards they were branded with Geloso stickers, so they must have been selected at the Geloso factory. Same for the EL84s, Philips. The power transformers re reveal some sort of date code. Maybe the fourth week of uh, 67. Here's a look inside the amp. It's mostly unmodified. Uh, some resistors are uh, of the definitely of the newer type, so that must have been somebody in this amp preparing something. They still have the original filter capacitors, the red ones there, and the bias uh, capacitors have burned out. Power output transformer there, and this amp has solid state rectification. When I checked the fuse, it completely came apart. It just stuck to the inside of the fuse holder, and that's not the first time I see this C completely disintegrated. So, put in a new fuse. This one has the 240 volts tap on the primary of the power transformer, which is what we need here in Belgium. And here is uh, the 10 amp fuse in the AC circuit, which is some, in some way uh, connected across with the wire. I'm clipping it here. We will see this fuse uh, play up later in the video. Also, this big dropping capacitor in the main power line supposed to be 560 ohms looks very much blown up and overheated measuring it it's we got 750 ohms which is probably still within tolerance and uh, also the main uh, some of the main uh, resistors feeding the, the output tubes look very burned but they didn't short out. Here's one of those new resistors, first one on the board and the there. The most obvious damage which was in uh, the bias circuit and uh, where the two completely exploded bias capacitors. One was even loose, I don't know which one, but uh, this one completely burned out. Replacing the power cord now. In order to properly install the three prong cord, it's best to remove this uh, voltage selector, which taps into the uh, different primary sides of the power transformer, because uh, the hotline is coupled through this auxiliary auxiliary uh, power plug which we will have to remove because if you don't remove it there will be uh, a lot of voltage on this. So here we have the two DAF capacitors uh, 2.2Ks and uh, these are the ones we cut out of the circuit we removed this auxiliary power supply or no, power uh, socket and uh, we had to make sure that the connection is the way it was originally. So one side of the hub goes to the zero point on the transformer. So we restored that. 
because the panel which um, configures the speaker impedance uh, is, is broken, I'm gonna hardwire um, the output speaker connection for 14 ohms, which is close to the 16 ohm which my cabinet has. Here is that resistor that looked very blown up and uh, suffered some uh, heat damage. It's um, in the position where in all previous Geloso amps we saw a coil. Here's a new power cord installed and uh, ground wire has its proper uh, ground lug connecting to the chassis. Now it has a three way power cord. So nothing happened, the pilot light didn't even turn on. So I opened it up, took out the tubes, started checking for voltages. The high voltage is okay, but there appears to be some problem in the AC feeding the filaments. So I started poking around and when I touched what I think is the 10 amp fuse here, uh, all of a sudden the pilot light went on so I think that it was uh, just some corrosion in the fuse socket here I can eliminate the problem by just jumpering this fuse uh, but that's never a good idea anyway the strangest thing is that if I am checking for continuity to between either sides of this fuse I get continuity so it's continuous it's never the less still when I turn on the amp it does not work however if I just jumper the fuse and take it out of the circuit The amp turns on fine. We even got some scratchy pot sounds.